Hey there! Today I'm going to talk about the symptoms of an anxiety attack and what you should do if you are experiencing any of them. How can you feel better? This is one of the most common questions I get at the clinic. Doctor, my heart is racing, I feel this horrible sensation, dry mouth. Is it anxiety or I am having a heart attack? It's a scary and incredibly common doubt. But by the end of this video, you will understand everything about the symptoms of an anxiety attack, why they happen, how to recognize them in yourself or in friends and family, and most importantly, how to tell them apart from more serious conditions like a heart attack. My name is Dr. Andre Wambier, I'm a cardiologist with over 20 years of experience. In this video, I'll walk you through the five most intense physical symptoms of an anxiety attack. What to do in the moment of panic and how to stop it from taking over your life. Stay until the very end because symptom number one is the one that sends most people to the ER thinking they're having a heart attack and I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step guide to help you regain control. But first, go ahead and like this video, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of our health tips. We've got lots of great content coming your way. And turn on notification. And hey, share this with friends and family. That is what Facebook is for. Think of that one person who always anxious. This video might feel like a warm hug to them. Send it their way and tell me, have you ever had an anxiety attack? What symptoms scared you the most? Where in the US? Where the world are you watching from? Write it down below. So let's go. First, what exactly is anxiety? And what's an anxiety attack? Anxiety is your body's natural response to stress. Everyone felt it before. It's that feeling of fear, of apprehension about something that's coming. Remember your first day of school, that job interview, a presentation, it's normal to feel anxious sometimes. It comes and goes, and usually doesn't interfere with daily life. And what is an anxiety attack? But some people experience anxiety attacks, and that's different. It's not just a normal stress response. It's a sudden, intense episode of fear or overwhelming discomfort that peaks within minutes. It can make you feel like you're losing control or even dying. How does the body react to stress? To understand the symptoms, you've got to understand where they come from. Your brain is incredibly smart. It can detect that there is a threat nearby. Say you think someone is about to mug you. Your brain instantly sends signals to your body to give you more energy to escape. Your body then releases stress hormones, especially cortisol and adrenaline from the adrenal glands. These hormones trigger the fight, flight, or freeze response, your body's evolutionary mechanism to protect yourself. What happened during this adrenaline rush? Your heart beats faster, tachycardia to pump blood to the muscles. Your mouth goes dry, your vision narrows, focusing on the threat. Your hearing becomes selective, your lungs expand rapidly, causing fast breathing. Your muscles tense up, ready for action. Digestion stops, no time for food. Your hands tremble and sweat, your blood pressure rises. It's a brilliant system designed to protect you from real danger. But during an anxiety attack, there often isn't a real threat. Or your brain exaggerates a small one. Maybe your boss gave you a weird look. Maybe a bill just arrived. Sometimes it's triggered by nothing at all. Your brain sounds the alarm as if a lion is in the room. So the adrenal glands keep pumping stress hormones non-stop. And because this burns a ton of energy, you feel drained. Over time, this wears you down. High cortisol equals to high blood sugar, risk of diabetes and osteoporosis. High adrenaline, high blood pressure, hypertension, constant rapid heart rate, palpitations or arrhythmias, plus headaches, insomnia, fatigue, and soon symptoms pile up, shortness of breath, chest pain, memory issues, insomnia, gastritis, eventually you start feeling hopeless. That's why anxiety and depression are often linked. 
Now that you understand the mechanism, let's get you to the five scariest symptoms. The top five intense anxiety symptoms. Symptom number five, trembling and tingling. That uncomfortable shaking in your hands or legs. That's adrenaline getting to your muscles, ready for action. Along with it, you might feel tingling or numbness in your hands, feet, face. It's caused by hyperventilation, rapid, shallow breathing during which messes with the oxygen and carbon dioxide balance in your blood. This is called paresthesia. Don't panic thinking it's a stroke. What to do? Focus on a fixed object. Rest your hands on a stable surface, like a table. This gives your brain a sense of stability and calms the tremors. Symptom number four, sense of unreality. This one is deeply disturbing. You might feel like you are not in your own body, depersonalization, or like the world around you isn't real, like you're dreaming or watching a movie, derealization. This is your brain's way of disconnecting as a form of self-protection. Even though it's terrifying, it's temporary. Ground yourself, touch something with a distinct texture, feel its temperature, describe five things you see. This brings your brain back to here and now. Symptom number three, shortness of breath. That feeling like you can't breathe, like you are drowning, horrifying. During the attack, the muscles in your neck and shoulders tense up and prevent full lung expansion. You start breathing fast and shallow, and this makes the feeling worse. What to do? Break the hyperventilation cycle. Don't try to gasp for air. Instead, focus on exhaling slowly. Inhale through your nose to the count of three. Exhale through pursed lips to the count of six. Like blowing out a candle. Doubling the time of exhale calms the nervous system. Symptom number two, racing heart and palpitation. That pounding heartbeat in your chest or neck classic adrenaline rush. The heart pumps faster to get blood and oxygen to your muscles and can feel like your heart is going to explode or is beating irregularly palpitations. This is one of the most common complaints I see as a cardiologist. During an anxiety attack, this often starts suddenly and gets better as you calm down. Unlike a real heart condition, it usually doesn't worsen with physical effort. And symptom number one, chest pain or fear of a heart attack. This is the big one. And the reason most people end up in the ER. Yes, anxiety chest pain is real. It is caused by extreme tension in the chest and esophageal muscles. It often feels like a sharp stab, tightness or pressure that may move around. The fear of a heart attack makes the anxiety worse, which intensifies the pain, creating a vicious cycle. How to tell if it's a heart attack? Pay attention here. Heart attack pain, a crushing or burning pressure in the center of the chest, may radiate to the left arm, jaw, or back. Doesn't get better with rest, gets worse with effort, often accompanied by cold sweats, nausea, or intense shortness of breath, and lasts more than 20 minutes. Anxiety, chest pain, more localized, sharp, comes and goes quickly, often improves with distraction or relaxation, usually happens at the peak of the panic episode. Crucial warning, when in doubt, always seek medical help, especially if it's your first time, or if you have risk factors like high blood pressure, diabetes, smoking, or high cholesterol. It's better to go to the ER and find out that it was anxiety oof, than to stay home during a heart attack. What causes these attacks? What are the triggers? Some people have genetic predispositions. If anxiety runs in your family, your chances are higher. But daily triggers are just as important. Work stress, tight deadlines, job insecurity, toxic bosses, emotionally charged situations, waiting to test results, breakups, grief, even happy events that bring pressure, substance abuse, too much caffeine, alcohol, drugs, even some medications health issues, thyroid problems, heart arrhythmias, this can mimic anxiety. That's why a medical checkup is so important. How to treat an anxiety attack? What to do in the moment? 
you need to break the brain's panic loop. Here are three practical techniques. Breathe, four, seven, eight technique. Sit comfortably, breathe in through your nose for four seconds, hold your breath for seven seconds, breathe out through your mouth with a whoosh sound for eight seconds. Repeat three to five times. This activates your parasympathetic nervous systems, your body's brake pedal. Tip number two, relax your muscles. Tense your feet for five seconds, then relax for 10 seconds. Repeat with legs, abs, arms, hands, and face. This trains your brain to notice the difference between tension and relaxation. Third tip, redirect your focus. Five, four, three, two, one technique. Say out loud or in your mind. Five things you can see. Four things you can touch. Three things you can hear. Two things you can smell. One thing you can taste. This pulls you out of panic and reconnects you to the real world. Long-term treatment, lifestyle changes and professional help. Do things that bring you joy and connection. Cultivate meaningful relationships. Avoid alcohol or drugs as escape. Exercise, one of the best natural anti-anxiety treatments. Get good sleep, rest heals the brain. And above all, see a professional. Therapy, especially cognitive behavior therapy, and sometimes medication can be life-changing. Your psychologist and doctor are your best allies. That's it. As you can see, an anxiety attack is very real and its symptoms can be terrifying. But knowing that these are your body's reaction to a false alarm is the first step to taking back control. Use the breathing and grounding techniques and never hesitate to seek medical help to get a proper diagnosis and rule out other causes. Taking care of your mental health is taking care of your whole health. If you like this video, don't forget to like and share it. Help someone who might be suffering in silence. And what video are you watching next? Here, I recommend Heart Attack When You Are Alone. What should you do? You will understand all the symptoms too. I'm Dr. Andre Wonder, I'm a cardiologist. This is Dr. Dre Health Tips. Subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.